Hey there you guys, hand doing my review of One Punch Man, episode number 10. And it's also do a lot more with um, Saitama and him being the hero organization and meeting all these other heroes. Um, like Atomic Samurai and um, the chick with the green hair, I think her name is Tornado Girl or something. I think, I think it is Tornado Girl actually, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call her Tornado Girl. And we actually get to see her to begin with this episode fighting a villain. And we get to see her stop the villain pretty easily, in fact. We can kind of see how strong she is. And we kind of get confirmed that she's so strong because she is in Class S. And I think she's ranked number two. Right under Blast, who's ranked number one, who really has not shown up for some reason. We don't know why he hasn't shown up. But I guess he decided to skip this one because it wasn't worth his time. Even though he seems to be, he's the strongest one. You think the strongest hero would probably show up. Or is the most popular or whatever. I mean, he's ranked number one in S-Class. I mean, come on. That seems to like make a whole lot of sense to, to why you would show up to something like this. Especially when like, the entire world is about to probably get damaged in a minute. And that's why the time is there to hear organization. Because... Um, the heroes are kind of worried right now about some e great evil about to come down and about to destroy everything. And um, it's pretty much just comes to the planet Earth and it's there and it attacks the hero organization's building. Um, it doesn't succeed in destroying it though. It, the building still is kept, it's kept intact. But uh, let the hero organization know that hey, something's attacking the city. You probably go save it right now. And of course, we get to see Saitama kind of just fly up there on his own before anyone even knows he's gone. He's already up there. He's already infiltrated the hideout. He's taking out villains at the end of the, the, end of the episode pretty easily in one punch. Um, and with the introduction of Boros, the main villain of this arc. And apparently, he's going to be facing. Saitama's probably going to face up against Boros at the end of this series. That's probably going to end up being the main villain. So what was the episode overall? It was a funny episode. It really was. Um, it was cool seeing all these S-Class heroes, though, and how strong they were and how powerful they were and how they could easily like take down different opponents and how and see what could give them like trouble and things like that. Um, and... And it was kind of neat to see like one of the heroes who couldn't get up even get up to those dang things. Like, come on, really? You can't even get up there. You can't like do some high, super fast jumping or something. And Trina's grow up, so she should be able to like blow him up there. So I don't, even, I don't even get that whole deal. But um, yeah, you guys, I was kind of sad when this episode ended. I was like, oh, it's over already. Uh, I want to see more. I think it was a good episode. We, you're kind of disappointed when it's over. Because you, you want to see what happens next. Um, but yeah, you guys. I think my thoughts on One Punch Man, episode number 10. I don't know if you guys are in the comments below. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.